What's going on you guys, it's the FPL Penguin back again with another video for you all and in today's video we'll be talking about things, all things FPL once again and we'll be talking about double game in 29 and uh, another double coming up uh, this weekend, we've still got double game in 28, that's happening right now. But I want to be talking about, I did a poll asking you guys if you want to like a wild card or free hit, double game in 29 sort of video or a watch list one and um the watch list one won by about 90 percent of you voted for that so we'll get straight into that and without any time to waste and we'll talk about these players are picked so it's basically a watch list of players that i think you should consider buying uh looking at the picture in the head and uh but yeah if you do enjoy this video guys please hit that like button and do subscribe and if there's any players that are missing out do let me know in the comments or what chips you have left or how your season's going, let me know what your chip strategy is as well for the upcoming uh, re remaining game weeks as well, guys. Let me know in the comments. Uh, love to hear from you guys. Uh, so this is what I've come up with the players. You don't have to go for all these players. Now, I think this is probably, you know, sort of good rotation. We know we've got a blank in uh, 30 as well. It's only five fixtures playing in that. So we'll be talking probably a bit about our favorites during like, the video. Um, but look at the goalkeepers. There's Fabianski and Ramsdale. You know, Ramsdale to me, probably arguably the best one to go for for his price as well. Uh, he's got a double game coming up against Leicester and Liverpool. And then he's got Villa. He is playing the blank. He's got one against uh, Villa and he's got Chris Hart's right in Southampton. And I think he's still good for his price. And, you know, it's all about, I think it's all about getting those saves as well. If you just have a look at some bonus as well, see if you're looking on the bonus. So, he's picked up about 12 bonus in total so far this season. And save-wise, he gets an average of five saves, four or five saves per game. Uh, this is Aaron Ramsdale. And, you know, I, I, I know I put Fabianski in there. I couldn't think of another goalkeeper to team up with him. But I think, obviously, Ramsdale is arguably the best one to go for, um, targeting the next uh, five gamings ahead for um, Arsenal, as you can see there. And um, yeah, so I think with Arsenal, they look relatively tight. I know they consider like two to Watford, but I still think he's a good one. Re you know, gets those um, save points, gets the bonus. Always seems to be like a bonus magnet as well. So I think definitely how much is he owned by, how many ownership wise? 20%, still relatively low. Uh, a lovely, you know, differential to go for. So definitely look him. Uh, we'll also move on swiftly to the uh, defense. Now, James. Um, his game week's still going. Uh, he's got Norwich next. He's expected to start that hole again. <laughs> um, but he's got 18 points, um, you know, in his return game for uh, Chelsea. And, and, and you know, he's definitely one to consider. Um, he's got Newcastle in 29. Then he has got a blank. But I think with a lot of people, I've been seeing content creators like myself, you know, putting uh, James in their, uh, you know, recommended wild card. And I don't blame, I, I don't hate that. Uh, you know, Asla Quetta could be back soon. Um, but I think Reese James is showing to Tuchel, Tuchel um, why he deserves the key star in games for Chelsea. He's back. He's, he's just bombed straight forward. He's like Andy Robertson. He gets those returns. And yeah, you know, he's captain material. Definitely captain material. And I think with James, you can't go wrong um, having him in. You, there might be slight rotation, risk of rotation, maybe in one of those game weeks ahead. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think... If you get him in your team, his price is going to keep rising as well. He's at 6.2. You know, I think you got to get him in your team, guys, because Sean, what he can do, what he did against Burnley, what he can do against Norwich next um, on Thursday night, God knows. Um, boy, he's got Newcastle, who can, you know, a bit 50 50, looking relatively more tight at the back. But Chelsea, you know, someone like Reese James could hurt them. And if we look back to that uh, Newcastle game just quickly, um, what was the score in that game? It was a 3-0 win in game week 10. He got two goals in that game, Reese James. And he picked up 21 points. He got full uh, three fat bonus points right there. A fat three bonus points. So, uh, I tell you, he's another bonus magnet as well. So, definitely Reese James. Uh, talk about Robertson and Trent just quickly. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea. Double local defence. You might want to drop one of them very, very soon. Maybe Robertson. Maybe saves you a bit more money then to spread around your team. Uh, Trent, to me... Is relatively essential. Um, you know, forty-six percent, uh, eight point five in the uh, the buying market, and uh, I think you know you've got you've got to keep him because if you lose him, 
Uh, it's going to be probably a bit more hard to get him back in your team. Uh, so it could be Robertson with the lower, lower, much lower ownership to get rid of. But I think definitely have double local defence for our double game week. Uh, Brighton, Arsenal, two, I'd say, lovely must-win fixtures for Liverpool. And uh, yeah, uh, will there be rotation with Tosimikas and Robertson? Might be, but I doubt it. I think maybe Robertson might start both still. Uh, but I'd still take the risk and just go double local defence for that double. Uh, but for the blank, it's going to be quite difficult. Um, but definitely look at those uh, two Liverpool defenders, especially for Watford. And City's going to be a crucial game as well. A must-win game for either side. Who's going to win the title? Who knows? Uh, and then we've got uh, Villa next. So definitely look at those two players, Liverpool and uh, from uh, Trent and Robertson. I also got Cancelo there as well. Uh, just go for the one city defender. Laporte is there, but Cancelo is more relatively nailed on, just like Laporte. And they have got a blank as well, but got Crystal Palace next and Burnley. I think it is crucial to have at least one Liverpool, one city defender. I think everyone's got that already with Trent and Cancelo, but definitely for the running as well, with these two teams finding each other for the uh, tile, uh, title. Uh, and then we've got as well, we've got Doherty as well. And now he's been doing well. You can see here 14, 18 points in his last two games, uh, playing that new sort of system for Conte and with how he had it into Milan with an attacking right wing back and plays like a, a wing back, so, you know, uh, right winger. And uh, he uh, he's done well. He's done well. 4.7 million. He's doing what he did in the old days when he with Wolves, if you remember that. And if you have a look here, he got a goal and assist in game week uh, 27 against a 4 0 win against Leeds. And then 5 0 win against Everton with uh, two assists. Now, obviously, it's going to be two, you know, Brighton, Manchester United, I believe are going to be tougher, obviously, uh, opposition compared to Leeds and Everton. I don't think it'll be a walkover, but I don't think Doherty's a bad one. Definitely not, especially with his price. If he keeps starting, damn, I tell you, look at the fixtures. He's not blanking again in uh, 30. He's got Newcastle, he's got Villa and Ryan after that. Uh, so definitely consider um, Doherty. So we're going to move on now to the uh, defend, uh, midfield and the uh, forward line. Now, the uh, forward line we always talk about, there's nothing interesting about. It's all about the midfield at the minute. Very, very juicy. Um, but I want to talk about, I know this looks a bit weird that I've got four Spurs players in there. But like I said, it's not a wild card. It's not a free hit squad. Uh, just players look at good gems to go for. Uh, Son, uh, I take full advantage. I think Spurs are Spurs. They do kind of bottle things sometimes you know they might end up being Leeds and might be in Everton fashion and destroying them but then they might end up losing to Manchester United and Brighton um you know typical Spurs um <laughs> but I still take advantage as an FPL manager of these players from Spurs who are doing okay getting you know gems like Kulo uh Kulu um Definitely with price much cheaper than Son and uh, could be, you know, just 4.7 million cheaper than Son. So he's definitely a good differential to go for. Uh, Kula with uh, 10, 8, 13 points in his last three games for uh, the Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, Manchester United, Brian next. You've got Son there. So if you can't afford Son, I'd definitely look at Kulu. Definitely. Or if you want another attacking return, look, you know, look at Doherty. Much cheaper as well. Four point something million. Um, you got Salah in there as well. Sen forget he's most Salah. I know he didn't do anything against West Ham, but he's most Salah. Got to keep, especially with high ownership. He's like 60 odd percent now, 61, you know, just touching 62 percent. Um, but yeah, Spurs assets talk about him as well. Harry Kane as well. Um, you know, 13, 11, 15 in his last three games. I think really jump on these Spurs, at least double Spurs attack, take the risk, take the risk with Spurs if you're having fun or if you're doing, you know, I, I take the risk, I take the risk, uh, for Spurs. Especially for that double game, we can see what happens. West Ham will be tough. But if they have no Bowen, could make things interesting on Spurs' side. Um, and then they've got Newcastle, Bill and Brighton. So we'll have to see how they do. But I think take advantage, at least two, you know, double Spurs attack. Uh, count Doherty as a Spurs attacker because he's playing as one at the moment. Um, but yeah, at least double Spurs assets going into um, that double game week, at least I'd say. Uh, Saka. You know, he's he's showing with 12 0 11 his last three games. He's such a lovely gem to go for. How much is he owned by? Would you still come a differential? Nah, he's not really a differential, but he's still relatively owned by, you know, not that many managers. And then we've got Sal, um, not Sal, we've got Coutinho um, in there too. So he's got 13 3 2 2 and 16. And I think uh, Felipe, if you had him like myself for that. Uh, uh, game against Southampton, Whew, you know, more probably more to come this game week as well from uh, the little magician. Um, I think it's all about Coutinho. If you've got Rams in your team, I'd look to upgrade to Coutinho. 
um, and see what he can do. But like I said, the fixtures aren't looking that great after West Ham with Arsenal, Wolves, Spurs and Liverpool. So you might want to hold off or just keep uh, maybe keep Ramsey for now. Who knows? But if you're on Ramsey, maybe look to get Coutinho in um, straight away for the West Ham game because we know they are conceding goals there, but leaking the back of themselves. Um, but yeah, talk about the forward lines. One well, nothing special to talk about. Workers probably just a one more week punt. He's got Brentford next, and he's got a blank. Then he's got a tough game against Man City. Um, yeah, two, three, fourteen, two, five in his last five games. It's okay. Um, but I think with Weghurst, give him a chance against Brentford and see what happens. And uh, he got Adams there as well. He's got Watford. Then he's got a blank. Then he's got Leeds, Chelsea, Arsenal. And I think uh, give him no chance as well. See what he does against uh, Watford, who can leak in goals. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the sort of team I'm going for, guys. That's the um, that's the team. That's the team. And uh, yeah, I was going to talk about double game week thirty. Uh, not double game week, blank game week thirty. <laughs> so many doubles and blanks. Um, but I probably leave that for my reaction stream for double game 28 if you have enjoyed the stream guys do leave it a like do subscribe hit me up in the comment section and uh, i'll be back probably with a reaction stream for double game week 28 probably thursday night probably friday morning who knows anyway guys take care and uh, yeah see you later